in the uh, in the communication between like the brain, or just because there's a temporary lapse in okay. the, you still have the parts of the brain so, that are able to deploy the subjective conscious so experience. Would, would, can we come out to some agreement? Heartbeat and brain waves probably a good time to cut off abortion because that's right around six to eight weeks, right around there. Sure. That's, okay. I'm not so, fine with that. So you're like a radical right winger, man. So no, I'm, um, not, I'm not. I'm not like I'm like <laughs> like that's. I, well, I mean. What's up, YouTube? Hope you guys are feeling good. Today, guys, we're back here with a new video, guys. Today, we're going to be checking out Poor Choice Student Flips. Okay, this is going to be my first time checking this out. I would love to check this video out with you guys. Let's get right into it. Hey, Charlie. Uh, it's nice to meet you. Yeah. Um, I wanted to have a discussion with you on, uh, on abortion. My position currently, uh, but it's open to change, is that um, I'm pro-choice up until the 20-week mark where the my understanding is the studies say that the subjective conscious experience is what I kind of value about life. And so I kind of draw the line right there and then abortions past then I would be in favor of that line. Okay. Uh, what's your position it, it's on It's a reasonable question. Would, would you say we should stop abortions when brain waves start? Uh, yeah. Pr well, I mean, if brain waves are an indication of the subjective conscious experience, then I'd say yes. Okay, so six weeks, not 20 weeks. Uh, if that's, if that's when the, if, if that's when the mark is and the parts of the brain are communicating okay. with each other to deploy the subjective concept. I'm fine with six weeks. Okay, yeah. so are human beings more than brain waves? Uh, they, pr um, are they more than brain Are you waves? more than just brain waves? Um, no, I don't think so. So you're, you're nothing more than just brain waves? I don't think so, personally. Okay. I think that's um, the most important thing. Like, I'm, the example that I would give you, sorry. Uh, the example that I would give is a person in comatose, right, who's indefinitely in coma and is not going to wake up, um, is ho hooked on life support. Right. Arguably, they have the unique DNA. They have the heartbeat still going, connected to the ventilator. I, know, I don't know if you would agree with that. But the, arguably, the most important part that we're looking at there is whether they're awake or not. If they're not going to wake up, I wouldn't consider it murder to kill that People person. come out of comas all the time. That's, that's true. Limited, that's true. Limited, we, if you want, you can come up in a sec. Nine months yep. coma. When, when, um, yeah. I would say that just because there's a temporary lapse in the in the uh, in the communication between like the brain, or just because there's a temporary lapse in okay. the, you still have the parts of the brain so, that are able to deploy the subjective conscious so, experience. Would, would, can we come out to some agreement? Heartbeat and brain waves probably a good time to cut off abortion because that's right around six to eight weeks, right around there. Sure, that's, okay. I'm not so, fine with that. So you're like a radical right winger, man. So no, I'm, um, not, I'm not. I'm not. like. I'm like. <laughs> like that's, I am, well, I mean, <laughs> I'm not. I'm not. I'm not like a. I don't, no, I don't want to be like, a hard no, time. You're no, coming no, here in no, good it's faith, fine. but it's fine. Yeah, but, sure. you, but at least you're looking at some sort of rational restriction, right? And sure, of course. Yeah, the, the I, radical I don't left, like, uh... they say no restrictions whatsoever. Just let the mother choose. Yeah, which... I don't agree with that. No, no, no. So. I'm not saying you do. But <laughs> no, 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 no. And, 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 it, and it, on its face, it doesn't make any sense because sure. if it's the mother's choice, always if the baby's completely viable, right? Throughout the gestational period, even the third trimester, a third trimester baby at 28, 29, 30 weeks can survive outside of the womb. How is it any different than in the womb, right? Sure, and of course, so yeah. a, a, a value of a baby does not change just because the size, level of development, environment, or degree of dependency that the baby has on the mother. Yeah, and so think, those of yeah. us that are pro-life, we articulate a position that is not always popular, but it's morally correct, which is that life begins at conception, which it begins when new DNA is formed and you are not fully formed at that beginning, but that is when human life actually um, okay. begins. I don't. I, I don't mean this as a gotcha question, but it's actually you genuinely can try your curiosity. Best. I no, it's not. I, I've, uh, I've heard almost all of them. Sure, so. sure. Would you consider Plan B like murder? Because there's no, a well, it, it could be. So Plan B, we don't know if it actually is terminating a fertilized egg. Okay. So because Plan B could be an abortifacient, but okay. it is taken as a precautionary potential abortifacient, right? Sure. So there's there's a difference between. Um, what is an at-home abortion, which is now widespread, where someone knows that they are currently in a gestational 39, 40-week um, you know, development of a, a human being, whereas plan B is like, I had unprotected sex, I just am going to take this just in case, right? Okay. And sure. essentially what plan B does is it nuclear bombs all the eggs, right? Okay. Uh, for that particular, and excuse the you know graphic nature of it, but that's what it does. So um, it, it depends on if the egg is actually fertilized or not, which is, I, I would never, you know, encourage sure. anyone to use plan B, but sure. it's a little more complicated than. than I that. understand, I understand. Um, and then my second question, yes. just another hypothetical situation that I've heard on a podcast. I know you've been on the whatever podcast. Yep. I, it's right down the, they film right down the yeah, street, by the yeah, way, in Santa, Santa Barbara. Barbara. Yeah. yeah, it's uh, really interesting. I really like watching the, they have good conversation content yeah don't, um, it's not not a great group of people but yeah so. oh really why okay well okay, no, I, I won't i won't it's pretty self-evident but yeah oh oh okay okay well anyway um so there was a, a woman on there her name was jasmine and she i thought she posed like a pretty interesting hypothetical where there's a burning building right and you have 10 fertilized embryos 
and um, three live babies, and it's birding, and you only have an option to choose one, which one are you saving? That's a tough question. I mean, first of all, that's a very, it depends if the embryos will ever be used. That's the better question. So if you can guarantee the embryos will then be used into full fertilization, then, then you, to be consistent, you would have to save the 10 embryos. Okay. If they're fully fertilized, then will be used, yes. But okay. the three babies have already gone through the entire gestational period, survived potential miscarriages, other side of, you know, birth-related issues. But that, that's, a, that's a fair and very good question that, you know, to be principled, you have to answer it sure, a certain sure. way. Guys, the entire video was amazing. Like, really, really amazing. I know you guys all enjoyed it. I enjoyed it myself. I love how um, Charles Cake answered him properly without any argument or the pro-choice. He responded properly without any um, hate or argument or hate speech. It was, it was a beautiful, beautiful debate to watch. And, but the, what I don't like about what he said is about the, the coma aspect. When someone is in coma, it feels like his own definition that the person doesn't exist or the person is no longer alive. But I'm happy someone who was nine months in coma spoke out and said, ah, I was in nine months in coma and I came out alive. Um, coma is actually like a temporary state of being that the person is unaware of his environment. So that doesn't mean that they're they, they not alive or that they dead, their heart is still beating and their brain cells are still working. It's beautiful to watch this video. Uh, this guy right here, I feel like the pro choice, is actually misleaded. He, he's hearing some sort of things that are actually affecting his brain. For me, it's actually misleaded. I feel like you should, you should think right because abortion is actually killing of unborn babies. Uh, I love the question he threw that chest kick and I love chest kick response. Um, it's, it's beautiful to watch. It's beautiful to watch. It's probably option B. I love how chest kick actually like responded to that question. It's technical, but at the same time, he responded appropriately and gave a lot of clarity to people to understand. This was a beautiful video to watch. Comment down below what you think about this video. Give us a thumbs up. Share this video as many as you can. I actually have code. So I can't talk much right now. My my, my voice, if you can hear me, it's kind of like a <laughs> difference. So subscribe to the channel. We'll see you guys in this video. Make sure you stay safe. I just want a bag like an old lady. I'm back wood smoking. I don't own papers. Pass that 808. That don't, don't shake her. Oh, bitch, you know I'm grinding like a pro skater. Baby mama bugging. I'm so quick to hit ignore. Buku bitch, you stand my bed. I got scales on.